Welcome back to Eyewitness Newsmakers from your local election headquarters. Andy Mahalshik, along with Jane Ann Bugdy and our special political analyst again in this segment, Dr. David Sosar from King's College and David Yonkai from the LULAC political blog letter that is infamous and famous around northeastern Pennsylvania. <laughs> talking you. politics in northeastern Pennsylvania, I'll say famous. We're talking, of course, about the race for Pennsylvania Senate, the most uh, expensive, most money spent Pat Toomey, Katie McGinty, but a lot of negative ads. Let me ask you guys, are people getting glazed over again by the negativity on both sides? Well, first off, I think all of us would agree that we would love the interest on the $16 million that they're spending on those ads. Just the, the interest. Senate race. Just it's the, the interest. interest. Yeah, we'd be fine with that. Um, yeah, the negative ads, people are glazing over. Um, I think people are really getting tired of hearing that Katie McGinty has uh, nine brothers and sisters and that her father was a policeman with all due respect to that. But a lot of people, it's kind of in a reverse thing that's happening, people are saying, well, you know, you don't get credit for doing something and doing the right thing. And a lot of people are telling me that, uh, you know, they're tired of hearing that. On the other side of the coin, before we uh, got on set, Dr. Sozer and I were talking about Wall Street, you know, uh, Pat Toomey and Wall Street. So the, it, it's inundated. Uh, I think people are tired of it. Mm -hmm. Oh, I have to agree completely. Uh, they they both are millionaires. They both spend more money than 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 you can possibly imagine at this. Uh, almost every ad, almost every ad is as negative as you can get. Uh, calling one another names, and even as you you listen to the to the candidates speak, um, there's such negativity, uh, even as a tense feeling between the two, uh, that that. It comes across. Listen, if you're on Wall Street and you're not making money for somebody uh, and yourself, uh, you're incompetent. They're going to fire you. And as far as as uh, 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 Miss McGinty, uh, there, there's you know that's the the a system that we have in America, uh, earning money and trying to do the best that you can and taking that money and investing it, and that's what she's done. I don't see anything wrong with that. Uh, there are differences in their their viewpoints, and I think that they should highlight those more. I think they would do themselves better. And let's not remember that if anybody who has a four hundred one k, right? I mean that's Wall Street, so you don't yes. want to talk against Wall Street because you know you have that and people have that. Does one candidate do better with younger voters and one candidate do better with older voters or? My inclination is to think that there are people who are going to vote for McGinty even though they were for Admiral Sestak or even though they aren't really a big McGinty fan because she ran for governor and lost. She's been a, um, not, not a crony, but a, an official of the Rendell administration. So she's been around the political block a couple of times. There are people that are going to be voting for her because they want to see a Democratic senator and want to save the Senate. On the other side of the coin, the people that are going to be voting for Toomey are going to want to preserve the Senate. Mm -hmm. And when you take a look at it, I think as as the newcomer, and because she has tied herself close to Hillary Clinton, if there is any downside voting, uh, if there is someone who's going to pull a Democratic lever and go right down the board, McGinty has a better chance of that. Uh, Toomey has actually separated himself. He never went to the convention. Uh, so he's really Really got to rely on his base. He's got to rely on on uh, his crowd that has gotten him elected uh, to the Senate before, and they're going to do it again. The incumbent does have the advantage at times, a little bit at least. Okay, uh, we're wrapping up. About 30 seconds left. Procrast pro uh, forecast. Who wins? Uh, too close to call. Too close yeah, to call. Too close to call. It, right now, checking it as of yesterday, there's one outlier. But in the real clear politics, they have it as a 0.7 of 1% difference. Wow. Yeah. Uh, with, vote with, counts. With, Get out there and vote. Oh, yeah. It, it, yeah. M in this case, it most certainly does. Don't forget about that T in central Pennsylvania. That might carry to me through. Mm -hmm. Well, Dr. David Sosar, David Yonke, thank you for joining thank us you today. Uh, we want to remind everyone that the interviews with Pat Toomey and uh, Katie McGinty can be seen on pahomepage.com under our Newsmakers link. The watching Newsmakers from your local election headquarters, Randy Mahalsik and everyone behind the scene, I'm Jane Ann Bugda. We want to thank you for making us part of your day and check us out on pahomepage.com.